All right, I, I get that I sell tubes for a living, but I can't be everywhere at once. So here is how to patch a tube just in case. First, we gotta find the hole and see if it's patchable. Once you have a little air in the tube, just follow the hiss. I always scrutinize the hole for clues as to what caused it because I don't like doing a thing twice. Clue number one is which way the hole is facing. Also take note of any kind of marks around the hole, like these biscuit cuts from the spoke holes. So this was definitely a rim strip issue. If you didn't unlock one of these other achievements, just check your tire for a thorn. You don't have to do this step, but it does help me keep track, especially if I have multiple holes. Most patch kits contain a sandpaper rectangle, an assortment of patch sizes, and a small tube of vulcanizing fluid. Using the sandpaper, rough up the surface around the hole. You want to get through the hard, dried out surface of the tube so the volk fluid can soak in before it dries. Count on about three minutes of vigorous sanding per hole. If there's one step in this process that involves trial and error, it's going to be the amount of bulk fluid you want. You want a consistent coat, a little bigger than the patch. Don't miss any spots, but don't go all Jack Pollock either. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world if you go a little hard, because you need some of the patch too. Once the puddle is mostly dry and there's only a couple of wet spots left, go ahead and slap that patch on and press hard. You're gonna to wanna to hold that pressure for 30 seconds at the very least. Put something heavy on it for a couple hours if you're saving this for a later date. Okay, once that's dry, you're gonna very gently lay it back into the tire, being super careful not to dislodge that patch. Finally, inflate to full pressure, and then try to think positive until you can see your driveway, because these patches, they can smell fear. 